Hello everybody out there in flashlight land. Uh, this is Jason with Prometheus Lights and now four sevens. Yeah, check it out. Uh, what I want to do today is walk you guys through the new four sevens interface. Um, we made a few changes. What I'd like to do is basically roll this out across basically all of the four sevens product. Uh, so whenever you pick up a four sevens light, you know how it's going to work. Uh, and we made some tweaks, some changes. Uh, hopefully, we will do a better job of accommodating everyone's different preferences and that sort of thing. So, you guys are already sort of familiar uh, with some of the 4.7's lights that have different available configurations. And so, we're basically keeping that same thing. Uh, and the way that you're going to get into the configuration mode is still the same. It's going to be 10 fast presses or twists. Uh, within three seconds, which depending on the lights, a little bit harder with the twisty, not too much of a problem with the clicky. Um, it might take you a little practice, particularly on a twisty, but it's still very doable. Uh, and so basically those 10 cycles will get you into programming mode. Uh, and what you get when you are in programming mode, uh, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this, uh, are a number of different configurations. So right now, the different 4.7s over the years, they might have uh, different configurations available. So from now on, everything is going to have this. Um, so basically, uh, I guess we'll just run through them quickly. So configuration one is just maximum brightness. And that is just turns the light on, turns the light off. You get full power all the time. Uh, very simple. And some people f prefer that. That's why we have it. Uh, configuration two has max and strobe. Uh, and I suppose this is more of a, let's say, quote unquote, tactical feature. Uh, again, pretty simple. You've only got two modes, full brightness, flash you in the face. Um, oh, we also did change the strobe frequency to 20 hertz, which is sort of right in the middle of the band that is considered most effective uh, for being disorienting. I could probably do a whole video just on strobe. But anyway, it's about 20 hertz. It should work well. Uh, so, all right, configuration three and four, I sort of consider the normal configurations. Um, and basically, configuration three, you're going to get medium, high, and then maximum. Uh, configuration four, you're going to get low, medium, high, and maximum. Uh, and in this setup, low is actually moonlight mode, so about one lumen. Um, and that nomenclature is a little different. I could have called it moonlight, but I don't know. Maybe we'll type this up differently, but the point is the lowest setting is about one lumen. Uh, configuration five is for you folks that like the light to come on high uh, first uh, instead of come on low first. So it's basically just reverse order, high, medium, low, and then uh, again maximum. And we'll talk about what uh, maximum is burst mode. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. Uh, configuration six I call the toolbox mode which has all of your different flavors. Um, so it's going to have low, medium, high, strobe, SOS, beacon, and also uh, the, the burst mode. Um, basically, I included that because you don't probably regularly use uh, SOS and beacon. Uh, and if you're the type of flashlight nerd that actually needs those fixture, features, uh, you're going to be able to switch the configuration while you're using the light so you can access those things. Um, I don't like having all what they call the, the disco modes, like all the blinking modes, uh, basically under normal use. So configuration six is basically kind of a special case. Uh, okay, so let's talk about levels of output very quickly. Uh, so again, the lowest setting, which I'm calling low, you can call it moonlight, we can agree on that, uh, is basically one lumen. Uh, I find probably 80% of my flashlight use is in moonlight. One lumen is actually a fair amount of light. Uh, on my alpha flashlights, there are actually two sublumen settings. Um, but, you know, one is pretty good for the average person, and it basically allows you to navigate up close, uh, either indoors or outdoors, uh, with night adapted vision and it's a low enough output that you're basically not going to blind yourself. Uh, medium is 15% output, 
which again, this is just something that I implement in my alpha flashlights. It's a good usable next step up from moonlight. Uh, now, so this is where things start to get a little bit different because high is actually 60% and then max or max is what you get in burst mode is 100% output. So depending on the light, that's going to be a different amount of amps going into the LED, but that's why I've got these listed in percentages because it's relative to each light. Um, okay, we already talked about strobe a little bit. It's 100% brightness at 20 hertz. Uh, and beacon is basically a blink, blink, and then it waits five seconds, blink, blink. And I guess I've never, well, I've never used beacon, but presumably it is useful. Um, say you are out in the wilderness somewhere, maybe, uh, and you want to leave your flashlight somewhere so you can get back to that spot later, you can sort of point the light in the direction uh, that you are going to be walking. So when you're out in the field, you can see that blinking and then get back to it. Again, never used it. Maybe I will someday. Uh, okay, so burst mode is a little bit different, um, or at least in terms of previous 4 Simons lights. Uh, my, also, my alpha flashlights are set up basically with a similar configuration, where high is actually 60% uh, output and alpha is at 70, but we won't quibble that. Uh, and then if you want maximum, you can go up to 100%. Uh, and the way that you access that burst mode both with the alpha and now with all the four sevens lights is two quick presses uh, on the button or two quick twists of the head. So that means you can be in moonlight and go directly to maximum or you could be in any other mode and go directly to maximum. Uh, it has no memory. Burst mode does not have memory. So when you use that highest output, when you shut the light off, it's basically going to go back to the previous setting. So let's see if I can, well, all right, we'll use the, the fancy pantsy ping pong ball lights. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty hard for you guys to see the moonlight, but there's a little bit of difference, sort of if you look here where the light meets the ping pong ball, you can see that change. So if I'm going to be in moonlight, I'm going to turn it off and then two quick cycles, and then that's 100% output. So if I turn it off and turn it back on again, we're back to moonlight, which is awesome. Uh, Basically, the reason I did that is, and this will actually be another video talking about flashlight brightness, but the short version is uh, you really don't need 100% output most of the time. Um, in fact, the difference between 60% and 100%, the way your eyes perceive that, it's not a huge difference. Uh, so running it a little bit lower under normal use uh, is going to extend your battery life. That's the main thing. If you've got a more powerful light uh, than this little prion here, your light's not going to heat up as quickly, uh, and those are really the two main advantages to that. But if you want to go full blast, you've got easy access to that. Um, what else do I want to say about burst mode? Oh, okay. So, again, I, I talked about the normal configurations being three and four, which is medium and high, uh, and then low moonlight, medium and high for configuration four. Uh, and it's basically a way, burst is a way to have an extra mode without really having that uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the settings that you're going to scroll through normally. So uh, right now this is set on configuration four, which is moonlight, medium, high, and then burst. Um, so right now it's effectively a three mode with a bonus mode. Uh, if you set it in configuration three with medium and high, it's basically two mode with a bonus mode being full output. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Those are the major changes to the UI. Um, again, this is gonna roll out through all the lights. Uh, we posted this up on Instagram and uh, showed everybody what the previous interface was, what the new interface was. For the most part, I was actually surprised the feedback has been really positive uh, and these pre-production prions are the first lights to have the new UI. So if you want to hear all about the new prion, you're going to have to watch the next video. All right. Hey, thanks very much. We'll see you guys next time.